Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The latest Pokemon Home 2.1.1 update has just been released with a bunch of patch notes that we're going to go over in today's video, which is quite interesting as we get closer to the compatibility between that and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. With the compatibility between Pokemon Home and Scarlet and Violet on the horizon, we get a little bit closer today with the latest update. It is 2.1.1. It has released. It's just a minor mobile update, but there are some changes which are quite interesting and it gets us that little bit closer to the compatibility between that and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So we can take a hop over to the patch notes here and what you can expect to see in the update because there is going to be something that you're going to have to do and that is set your region on your mobile device when you next go into Pokemon Home. This will just align with the battle data a little bit better and kind of set your account up into a place where you are going to be ranked in a position if you are taking part on ranked battles on the ladder so what is new version 2.1.1 added online competitions information from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to the battle data feature. And this specifically will be relating to the online competitions that we'll be seeing running going forward in Scarlet and Violet. There'll be friendly competitions and there'll be official competitions, but these will all be viewable now in your Pokemon Home app. You can see recently we had the Pardea Prologue, is a new friendly competition that was announced which will be running in march i think it's the first one that we're getting in scarlet and violet that you can register for now in your game on pokemon scarlet and violet but when you do that you're then going to be able to see that now that you're registered for it in your pokemon home so again getting very close to having that compatibility overall with pokemon scarlet and violet we're getting closer with little things like this if you've linked your Pokemon Home to a Nintendo account with data from Scarlet and Violet, you'll now be able to view results from official competitions and friendly competitions you've joined in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Added the ability to view Pokemon natures from Pokemon ranking screen in the battle data feature. Now this wasn't shown before, you could only see items, movesets, um, and the natures weren't shown. Uh, you can now see all of the natures on the battle data, which is really good information if you're going in and wanting to check out what other people are using or what the top tier Pokemon are. Uh, you may view Pokemon's natures in rank battles from Season 4 onwards, so that's from now on. If a listed Pokemon had a mint used on it, the nature conferred by the mint will be shown. So that's really good, because in game, it doesn't show up on the Pokemon's data. It will always show the nature that it was caught with or bred with and then when you use a nature mint it will change it in the background but it won't actually show but on the battle data it will show the actual nature that the pokemon is running with if it has had a mint used on it very useful for battle data of course and linking a nintendo account is now required to use the mystery gift feature which is in pokemon home so you're going to have to link your nintendo account which is what you would be running on your switch with your pokemon go account uh, specifically on your mobile to uh, get any mystery gifts that will be featured because if you remember back to Sword and Shield when we got the compatibility between Home and Sword and Shield, we got the hidden ability starter Pokemon from Gen 8, I believe. So it was like the Incineroar with its hidden ability and all of those Pokemon with their hidden abilities as a gift. So that was quite a good feature. They'll probably do something similar when we move into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet fully with Pokemon Home and a mystery gift that way for something a little bit more special than usual. And each mystery gift can be claimed once per Nintendo account, which makes sense and everything like that. So that is all of the patch notes that we're gonna see changes in the Pokemon Home app. And going forward, it does look like we are getting that little bit closer to Scarlet and Violet. I think some big changes in the update that we've just had today and enough reason to cover it on this video because it does look like like they are really starting to implement Scarlet and Violet features in Pokemon Home where we know we're going to get it at some point. Early 2023 was the update that we got on the presents. So you would imagine March, April at the very latest is when we will see the compatibility between Pokemon Home and then Scarlet and Violet, which is very exciting. And of course, we'll keep up to date with all of the latest news between the two on the channel. So do make sure that you do subscribe so you don't miss anything when it does drop. If you found today's video useful, please drop a like. And like I say, subscribe so you don't miss any of these updates when they do come out. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these updates down below in the comment section. And when do you expect Pokemon Home compatibility to be there fully fledged with Scarlet and Violet. Thanks for tuning in friends. Have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves more important than anything else and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Until then take care. Bye bye.